Hey y'all! It's time for ba ba bum Katie Bo's Crafting Show. Boom boom boom. So today we're doing a Dollar Tree crafting thing that I made up in my own head. I told y'all before I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and other Dollar Tree friends that do this. And um, yeah, I just came up with this one, y'all. So, you know. Oh, hey, Cricket. So glad you're here. Um, yeah, so we're going to be using almost everything is Dollar Tree. And what isn't is like super cheap. Like one is a piece of denim. Another is this, um, this paint. Okay. We, y'all, okay, we got our grand littles on Friday. They are 12, 9, and 6. And let me tell you something. The first morning we woke up after getting them, and we had them till yesterday. Because um, the mom and dad moved, my son and his wife, they moved. And um, they actually gave us the forwarding address to return the kids. I mean, who does that, right? No. <laughs> um, yeah, so they um, they were moving and we had the kids. And anyway, day one, we wake up. The 12-year-old has swept the floors. Lot, like, I have a lot of floor. Swept the floors. And the six-year-old had made up the beds. And the nine-year-old, I don't remember what she did, but it was something just as wonderful. And I'm like, who are these kids and can we keep them, right? So meanwhile, since everybody's here, and if you're here and haven't said hello, please let me know you're here. And that helps me, um, that helps me honestly with my channel. And it helps me as a crafter just to know who all is here. So I'm going to show y'all my um, desktop here. And here, y'all remember we made a project with one of these. This is that fence that you can get at the Dollar Tree. It's got four panels. Like this is one, two, three. And then there's a fourth panel that I've already cut off. So um, we have that. And that's right here. I've already painted it. I painted that on one of our se sessions. Um got this. I'm just going to show you what we're using. We're going to use a denim pocket. We're going to use some flowers. And I'm going to tell you all about these flowers. This is like a bouquet, like bridesmaid or something. And I like to buy these. Um, probably got this at Michael's. And I wait until they are like half price because these are like $12.99, something like that. They're not cheap. And I've got mason jars with these in them sitting around my house. So anyway, this is how they come when you buy them. And we're going to use this one today that I've already taken apart from the bouquet because I can make another bouquet real easy. Just, you know, to put this back in if I choose to use it again um, in the jar or if I don't. Okay, then we have a piece of um, print printed paper. And it's from the Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby, I'm quite sure. And we have a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. So we're using a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree right here. And now, here's what we're going to do. I've already taken this paper and laid it down. And all I did was run my fingernail around the edge, okay, to get an idea of how it's going to fit. Okay, and I have poured my black paint into this. It's just a piece of plastic. It came with something um, something I bought. And I'm just going to go around this edge like this. And it's okay if it's not, if it's not solid. That's kind of the look I'm going for. Just kind of an uh, antique-ish distressed kind of look. Can y'all see it going on? Oh, and y'all... Okay, so I posted on my on my personal page. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but if you're having difficulty, pray for kind and knowledgeable people to be put in your path. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I had to go to the doctor today, and everything's okay. I just needed a replenishment of a prescription and had to get blood work because, you know, I'm type 2 diabetic, and um, they say type 2s have more fun. Um, but anyway, 
<laughs> Not true, because more fun will be eating all the cake and Oreos and cookies and stuff that I want. But anyway, so I went to get a uh, a few referrals, and because being type 2 and being 62, then, you know, I was thinking, we've had, I mean, everybody's had a year, okay? Everybody has had a year. Mine's not been any worse than anybody else's, no doubt. I'm very blessed and all. But it was the worst that, you know, that not the worst that we've ever experienced, trust me. But I mean, it was, it was bad in our experience. And I mean, y'all, I already have an issue with winter and I call it winter depression. I don't know. It's just like you get, you get snuggled in and, and you want to stay, you just want to stay snuggled in, especially when you got two puppies and they want to snuggle too, because then you have a reason, right? You become a dog bed. So, um, that's kind of between March of last year and this, this month, this month, um, it's been a year since my, almost a year since my rotator cuff surgery. And I don't care who you are. That stuff is legit. So like I said, you know, this, this is not the worst it could have been. Y'all know we've been through worse. Um, nothing, nothing trumps a child with cancer. So, um, no, nothing, nothing. I mean, I, I don't even know. I, I'm going to say nothing and I'm going to stick to my guns on that. But anyway, so since last March, of course, right after my uh, surgery, I had to take it down, you know, about 27 notches. In other words, don't move that shoulder, you know, like be in a, uh, some sort of a harness thing for however long it took and blah, blah, blah. And the recovery was so long. So I missed my July appointment. No, 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 I didn't either. I went in July. I went in July to get my A1C, which is my uh, blood sugar checked. Okay, so I've just painted this. It looks rough. I want it to, and you can see close up, you know, it's not perfect. I don't, I don't want it to be. Okay. Um, So now I'm just going to cut this because you can see the imprint right here that I just made with my nails. I'm just going to cut this into a, I'm cutting a little wide because I'd rather have it too big than too small, right? <clears throat> okay, so while I was recuperating, um, lethargic would be a good, a good way to describe it. Um, you know, just not doing much of anything. So in July, my blood work was okay. And since then, I just went back today and I've gained five pounds. And I, y'all, the only place my five pounds can go is straight out, right? So, <laughs> and I mean, like, I didn't want to gain five pounds. I was planning on coming out of that shoulder surgery better than I went in, but I can honestly say I did not. So I was a little antsy about going to the doctor today because I knew, I knew that my clothes were shrinking and I knew, I knew all the things. I knew it all. Don't need somebody who went to medical school to tell me, hey lady. Okay, so now I've cut and I'm just getting like this side here fits right here and I'm just going just going along like this and just getting that extra little bit so I can trim it off going around with my with my fingernail just like that um so when I went to the doctor today I told him I said you know I'm not gonna lie I've been sitting in a chair since last March which y'all I've gone off I've taken walks I've mapped my progress I've taken I've done this diet and that diet, and I know that's not the way to do it, but that's what I did. That's what I did. Um, but, you know, there's been more cold, messy days than there were pretty days to walk in. And one thing led to another, y'all. And this dog bed is now five pounds bigger. So I got to do better. And 
before I went in to the doctor, I prayed for kind and knowledgeable people to be in my path because y'all, I'm not in the mood. Okay. I'm, I, I would love to say that I am so thoughtful and considerate and kind and complacent and compassionate and all those things. But y'all, when I'm stressed out, everybody just needs to move because it, it won't be pretty, y'all. Uh, it won't be pretty. I want it to be pretty. Um, so I have to pray on those days like that for kind and knowledgeable people because I would love to not show my true colors, okay? So our doctor, the, the lobby, you have to go sit in the lobby. A 12-year-old takes your temperature. He, literally, this guy, he has a little... He has this little walkie-talkie. I don't know why, but he's got a walkie-talkie that he's communicating with the um, the office upstairs, and he literally has a Harry Potter sticker on it, right? I mean, he's probably 18, 19, I don't even know, but he took my temperature. He asked me questions, and I'm thinking, child. But anyway, so he's the one that told me I could go on up, and y'all, kind of knowledgeable people. My appointment was at 1020. And they they saw me like I got I, I went to the child to take my temperature and all. And they saw me at well, he called up and they said, send her on up. And I'm like, what? So um I went on up and lo and behold. They took me right in. The nurse said, I heard them call your name, so I was waiting on you. And by 1020, my doctor had already come in, seen me, done all the things, and boom, right? I'm over there. By 1030, my blood work was done, and I was telling Ninja Man, I'm done. You know, he's in the parking lot with all the other spouses. Um, yeah, so I'm like, I'm done. Come get me. And, you know, just like the chauffeur that he is, he was right there. And I'm like, hey, hey. So kind and knowledgeable, y'all. I know, I mean, it's hard to say why being kind and knowledgeable would have sped up my weight a little bit. But I'm telling you, it can. Because there's, there's some people out there that act like real tools. And I hope that's not a bad word. Okay, so we're going to take this right here. And I'm going to uh, scrub it down a little bit, beat it up a little bit, show some of that black. Because black, y'all, I'm using black as my accent color. Because it's got black here, black here, right? And I, this is just a piece of paper. I mean, hello. I happen to love it. Let me put him right there. Now stay. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Now, you know, my blood work will be back tomorrow. And if, if I've screwed up, because I talked to the doctor, I said, you know what? I've gained five pounds. What if my blood sugar is a little high? He says, well, up to this point or that point, I'm not concerned. If it goes to this point, you get a higher med. And I said, well, what if you just give me a few months to do what I'm supposed to do, act like a grown-up, and then... um." and then give me more meds if I don't do right. He said, nope. He said, if it's too high, you get a different med or more med or whatever. And, <clears throat> and I mean, he's just looking out for me. But, you know, y'all, I mean, everybody's got to have something, right? And I, and I told him, I said, you know what? I wish I had known how better to take care of this body when I first got it. That's what I said. Cause, and he goes, he he's a tall, thin man, and he's he's just so sweet. I kind of have a doctor crush on him, except the fact that he's an atheist, and I can't have a doctor crush on an atheist. But if he wasn't, if he was a God-fearing man, I'd have me a doctor crush. And Ninja Man knows about my doctor crushes. It's okay. But, <coughs> excuse me, so... um. So he told me, he, he turned in his chair and he said, listen, he said, when you're two years old, you start learning how to eat. And you, you eat that way until you're 10 or 12, and then you eat more. He said, nobody knows how to do this right when they're, when they're young and, you know, um, 
doing their eating habits. And I'm telling you, yeah, when, when I was growing up at Mama's, she used to go to what we called the, the used bread store. You know, it's the, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's, it's that little bread store. So anyway, Mama would go to the used bread store, that colonial bread store, whatever. And here we go. Y'all see how much, how it looks distressed and older. That's kind of cool. So uh, Mama would buy these, oh my goodness, these pastries and buy the whole, like it was a whole, I don't even know how many is it. Well, there's like 24 in there. How much is that? I, I mean, I don't even know. But she would buy these pastries and y'all, I'm just going to put some glue here and there just to hold this guy down like this. And I mean, mama just kept them in the house and we ate them whenever we wanted. There was no only one before dinner, nothing like that. We just, hey, we just ate them, right? And I mean, it's not mama's fault. Mama likes sweet stuff too. But I'll tell y'all. That really helped to develop my um, love for sweets. And guess who else ended up type 2 diabetic? My mama. But as she got older, she, um, you know, we knew that she didn't have long. And daddy would just give her anything she wanted. And that was sweet of him. Okay, so this is on here. All right. Boom. Okay, so now we are going to put our little pocket on here. I think I kind of like going off the edge here. That might be fun. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I kind of maybe want to keep it like this. Yeah. Oh, and it is a pocket. Um, my church, I think I told y'all once before, we made, we cut out denim, not the pockets, but just the denim. Um, we cut out pieces for shoes for children in oh boy i can't remember the country but anyway these these children this mission project um you send them all the pieces of denim and they send them to um whatever country it is in africa and people sew them together and make shoes for children and i made toddler size two shoes and it um I don't know. I made enough for maybe six or eight pair. I don't, I think, I don't know. And this is what's left out of one of the jeans. I just cut the pockets out so I could use them later right there. So, all right. So, um, my whole point was to say, if you're praying for kind and knowledgeable people, y'all put on your seatbelt because they, God will answer that prayer. And if you're like me, you need to be kind as well even when you're not feeling it. So it kind of really helps everybody involved. Um, that was my point in telling y'all about the kind and knowledgeable. I don't know if I ever got that part out. Let's see, move this guy over just a wee, just a wee bit. So now we have a little pocket, right? Right. And now we are going to put, well, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. We have trim. This is not Dollar Tree. This is all from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to decide if, and I might, I might have to have a little, see what y'all think. I kind of want it like this. And then maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe we want to put some pearls. And this was in the wedding section, y'all. Um, I never looked for ribbon in the wedding section. Yes, God always answers in his way. You know, thank goodness he doesn't always answer the way I want it to be answered. Heaven knows. I'm like, uh-uh, wait a minute. I, I think I'm not, you know, I'm not the one who needs to be in charge over here, Lord, please. I do love this, y'all. I'm going to, I'm going to add, I'm going to add me some pearls. Pearls, pearls. So let's see, we can glue these down and maybe some more. Oh, hey, Julie. Oh, Beard Bakeries. Yes, ours, uh, Colonial Bakery. Um, Julie, I'm so glad to see you here. 
yes, this, this burlap and lace is gorgeous. And like I said, I found it in the, um, in the wedding department. These are also Dollar Tree. Found it in the wedding stuff over at the HL. Okay, so I'm just like putting that down like that. Okay, because I mean, maybe, maybe we, and, and look at this. This is pretty too. And this is pretty. I was kind of wrestling with all the things. All the things. Um, yeah, Julie, ours, I think, is called uh, Colonial around here. Mama called it the used bread store. So, yeah, so that, you know, the doctor said, you know, we learn to eat a certain way when we're, when we're little. And he's like, that's just the way it is. Don't beat yourself up. Now, I cut three because, because, you know, I've said before, when we're doing florals or anything like that, we, we want an odd number, right? Right. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put a piece of glue right, right here, right here. Put my little thingy on here. Let, let me go, glue gun. Okay. And y'all, you know, I was telling you before, um, I've been watching Call the Midwife. I'm so sure I'm British right now. I don't even know. I don't even know. I mean, I'm like binge watching 107 series of Call the Midwife. And I love it. Um, I should have been a midwife or a doula. Really, really. Because I love a great birth story. I really do. Okay, so we're going to let those guys think about what they've done. We're going to leave them over there in the corner. Okay, and... There's a couple of ways I could do this. I could go around the edge here like this and give it a more finished look. I think I might do that. I kind of like it, y'all. Okay, we're going to go like this. Boop. Put us some hot glue there. Take this and go boop. And we're just going to fold it over the edge like this. Okay. Y'all, I love this ribbon. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Not sick. Oh, y'all, so while I was waiting on uh, to do my blood work, this lady, I mean, she looked great to be 80. She said she was 80. And I'm like, Excuse me? I wish I looked that good now. But I mean, she, you know, she was an older looking lady. But she's 80. She said her husband's 82. Their son is a doctor. I'm just gluing this part down too. And somehow they contracted COVID through him. And she said they were so sick. And she also has asthma just as a normal everyday thing. And um, she said one night they had to take her to the hospital. But other than that, she said they... they suffered big time but she said they got through it and I was just like wow at that age you know I mean dang Skippy that is really old to be getting COVID y'all right, let me stick this one in hold on it's getting a little crazy over here come on now y'all need to get in there get on in now Okay. Oh, and you know, I told you we had our our three grand littles here, my son's children. Well, guess what? The other grand littles came too, and the deal was, I needed, we needed another adult, right? So my daughter hung out with us. It was so nice, y'all. We we've really not seen anybody for a year to speak of, and then we had our house just. Full of laughter and giggling and playing games and running and popsicle eating and just all the things that we've missed. And um, everybody got along great. It was so nice. And they, like I said, they did play video games. We let them because, hello, we're not used to having a house full of kids. When do you want to play video games? Okay, that sounds good to me too. Let's do it. <laughs> But they didn't play them the whole time. 
we had uh, two or three days that were absolutely beautiful. And I was like, y'all are going to be outside. And they'd be like, well, I want to go in and do something. Nope, nope. It's a pretty day. It might rain tomorrow, at which time y'all will drive me insane. And it, y'all, when I get driven insane, it's a short trip. It's a short trip. All right, we're going to stuff our flowers in here. And I've got roses, and I don't even know what else. Uh-oh, come back. Oh, oh, I see. Mm, I see my little pocket over here is not glued down, y'all. What kind of show is this? There we go. There we go. And this just, the glue, if you roll it to get it off of your paper, um, it comes off. I mean, you don't have, you don't want to peel it up. You want to kind of roll it. I don't even know if we love this, but, but I think I am. I think I'm going to love it. All right, so we're going to go in here with our pocket. And here's a little piece right here. We can even bend them over a little bit so they'll kind of lay like that. Oh, y'all, I think I'm going to like it. What are y'all thinking so far? You think it's going to be okay? I think so. I think I think. Oh, this is really, it's fun, if nothing else. Get in the pocket, would you? What's going on over here? Hold on, i got to look, look down in the pocket. There we go. Oh, it just needs a little more convincing. That's all it needed was just some convincing. So y'all remember, a long trip on a short period, <laughs> right? Y'all remember, if you're going to go do something, and I mean, even sometimes when I go to make a phone call, I have to check on this or check on that, and they're notoriously rude. You know, I, I don't want to open up that can because, y'all, my I have a big, big, big can of it, and I don't I don't want to open it. I don't. And my my uh, friend, <coughs> excuse me, Heather, has seen me in action at times when things did not go well for us, and I was like, oh, <laughs> bless her. She loves me anyway. Y'all, here we go. Let me see if I can show you this way. What do you think? Do you like that? I do. I think it's pretty. Now, we might we might trim this, make it shorter. Let's trim it and see what happens. Please hold. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. I do. I like it shorter. So y'all tell me what you think. And we'll just put a little hanger on the back. And, um, and boom. We'll put a little hanger on the back of it. And it, we can change these flowers out, y'all. You can change them out for different seasons. I mean, they're not glued in. Um, yeah, so I don't want to be gluing these in. And you don't really need to. Hold it up again. Okay. All right. Here we go. There we are. And you know, you could put, you could put welcome across here. You could go across this way. You could put it up here. You can have more ribbon. You can have more bows, whatever you want to, do. I mean, some bows, whatever you want to do. Uh, Julie, super cute. Be very pretty in little girl's room or a powder room or anywhere. Just saying thank you. Yeah. And, you know, we can we can bring these down a little bit if we want so that little piece will show. And I'm thinking, too, next time, bring this part up higher. I thought of that as soon as I glued it down. So bring that part up to the top so more of your garden uh, gate will fit will be seen and then do the rest down here. Um, the flowers are Hobby Lobby and this is like a wedding or uh, some sort of a bridesmaid bouquet or something because it comes like this, okay? And that's raffia, two strips of raffia plus the green tape for floral tape plus wire. So you just, um, you know, you just take it apart um, but I buy these at the end of the season, like the end of the wedding season, when they're like 50% off, 40% off. Denim pockets are too small. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, th these came from a man's pair of pants. Um, 
these were pants that uh, we had for the the shoes that we made for the children in wherever it was, somewhere in Africa. And um, somebody said, one of my family members said, hang on to those pockets. You can use them sometime. And I looked at them for a couple of days and I'm like, okay, I'll hang on to them. Oh, I'm so glad I did. Because I threw away all the other rough scraps, you know, because um, there was nothing left really except waistbands and pockets and zippers. That was it. I mean, like I even cut way up into the uh, jeans where the front pockets are. I even used that. So, um, curious to see how Hobby Lobby handles sales now that they don't offer coupons anymore. Me too. Um, they said that they were going to, um, they were going to have lower prices on certain items, but I haven't been back, um, in a long while. So I don't know. I think, I think I went like mid February and these are from last year. So, okay. So most of y'all are saying like a powder room, um, or anywhere in the house, that kind of thing. And like I said, take this out, change up your ribbon a little bit, and you can use this for the holidays. Um, you can use it, you can add a sign to it that says welcome. I don't know if y'all know, but I love to use things that, um, that help me, that can go other ways. In other words, um, things that I can change up. Okay. So if I can add fall flowers here, I love it. That's why I didn't glue these guys down. And could I have put them in just with this? Probably, but then I'd have to, you know, bend them out a whole lot more. Um, and if, if y'all missed this last week, this was our project last week. Y'all, I love this cross. It is so pretty. And I made uh, the two cross. I haven't made the second one yet, but it'll have two crosses on either side. And I'm going to hang that in my living room. So this is, this was um, all, I think this was Michael's flowers here. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, y'all. It helps me as a crafter. Um, trying to get to a thousand viewers and a thousand subscribers and I'm at 780 and please share with your crafty friends my YouTube channel and my crafting page here please and thank you they're both called Kathy Bohan and Creatively Blessed but this was also in the uh, wedding section and it's it's on a roll y'all just like ribbon it's it's just like it it's just like ribbon and then there's the thinner one that I've got right here. So these two, got those at Hobby Lobby. And I thought it was 40% off, but it was actually 50% off. And this is $7.99, and I think this was $4.99. Yeah. And next week, I don't know what we'll be doing, but I've got some chicken wire just waiting to be used. A couple of rolls of that. Um, yeah, you need some pizza pans. You might can even find them at yard sales. I don't know. Um, and by the way, Dollar Tree, if you go to DollarTree.com, um, you, if you've been a kind of a follower, you would know that you've had to order, you know, $25 worth of one thing. Like you'd have to order 25 pizza pans or whatever. Well, they've changed that because they found out that us crafters really would like to buy just one or two. So, um, yeah, they changed it, and now you can buy just a couple or three items. You might check DollarTree.com and see if they have pizza pans that you can only buy one or two. Of course, you got to pay shipping, so, you know, it might be cheaper just to go get you some cheap pizza pans. You could even use a square. As long as your paper, your 12 by 12 paper is going to fit in this, and my pizza pan, let me find my... Here it is. My pizza pan does not say the dimension. Huh. That's funny. Um, I think I probably would have had to pay more if they'd actually taken time to measure it, right? <laughs> but, well, this is a good, a good way to tell. This is um, about 10 and a, almost 11 and a quarter inches. So it's probably 11 and a quarter around because this goes inside your inside dimension. Let's see. 
yeah, anyway, it went from side to side on the inside. So 11 and a quarter probably is the size, although they would call that a 12 inch pizza, probably because you're going to have dough up to here um, and it slants out. Um, and you can, you could spray paint it. You can come in and, and paint on the inside here. Um, there's so many things you can do. You can iron on a monogram here before you even, you know, before you even start crafting with it. Um, there's so much you can do, but I kind of love this. Oh, and y'all, Captain Jack, we used to call him Baby Jack, but the youngest grandchild is Captain Jack. He's six years old. I have this sign that I'm going to have to use in a in a uh, crafting day because it was hanging in my bathroom and a long time ago one of my son's friends from college saw it in my bathroom and it's a it's a lady with really curly hair and I, I'll go get her. Hang on just a second because okay the the teenage guy when my son was in college said it really creaked him out. And then Captain Jack came up just out of the blue and he said, can you take the picture of that lady down? Because she's so creepy. So I figured, um, if, if two people think she's creepy, then maybe she's creepy. Okay. But this right here, y'all, I've had it forever. It's hung in my bathroom. This is my hair, y'all. I mean, I got hair just like that, but I'm about to get it all cut off. The decision has been made. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a cool vintage sign with a pretty girl. Um, but no, it freaked out uh, Captain Jack. So it has to go. I can't have something in my house that scares him. So maybe this is going to hang in its place. Yeah, solution. Yay. So, okay, y'all. Thank you so much for joining in today. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget, if you have a little... little um. A little problem all you got to do is pray for kind and knowledgeable people in your path and put on your seatbelt because God will answer that prayer at least he does in his way sometimes we need to learn to be more patient I don't know but um but man he sure blesses me when I do that uh oh I lost I lost us thank y'all so much and God bless and have a beautiful week it's a gorgeous day here in West Georgia all right love y'all Toodles.